All right, my camera turned off, so I don't know if it saved anything. Overheating. So this is the first time the R62 overheated. It is 96 degrees outside, so it's going to be hot. I don't know how much time was spent in recording of the first one. I need to get in the shade. Turn up the air conditioning a little bit. the 410 up here on Ariandale Drive on the right I used to go to work um, many years with the speebies at the post office next street over to the right airport to the left they had it here because then the trucks would come here from the airport be real close by but all state or state farm whoever owned the building um, they didn't renew the contract with the post office and they sold it to the MRE company that was next door so now they had two buildings with their uh, MREs. Uh, that was pretty good. We got our own buildings. Fixed it up. So there's a Coker Loop. I don't know where it is. You saw an airplane landing. Everybody's slowing down because they want to watch the airplane. And it looks like it's going to overheat, so I'm going to turn it off. All right, San Pedro. Looks like they paid the road. thing about the uh, Canon cameras they show you if it starts overheating uh, on the newer settings with the x 7 processor from Nikon they got the thermometer it's yellow then it turns red and then you know it's ready to go but uh, I've been looking at the Alonzi's uh, things for cooling the camera in the back I don't know um, I like the R5C the FX30 the S52 and a 2x so they all have fans okay built into the camera and I got dummy batteries for them I look at the uh, Canon R52 this is, uh, they're saying that the R5C is better. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, not on the autofocusing and stuff. It just said that on the video part, it's better. So, uh, anyway. Like the fan. I got that in the trunk. I got uh, power banks, cables, dummy batteries. I'm ready to go to town on certain cameras. Take a lot of pictures. Uh, 
right lane. And you see the thermometer came up again. I had the camera off for five minutes. It is hot of the day. It's 99 degrees. It's almost uh, noon. So what I will do is uh, change out the lens and uh, put in on the R5C on my way back. used to be a fantastic restaurant to the right they tore down the beautiful uh, balcony wooden restaurant and they put all Adobe so I might try it out see how it is yeah one bar So this is the third time I've tried recording, but I'm doing it at 4K30, okay? And the traffic is, yeah, they can't make up their mind if they want to go left or right lane. If they want to get on 410. Now it is tricky over here. Because on some places you have to go to the right to get on uh, 410 to go uh, the opposite direction. And most of the time you just get in the left lane and then you go in the direction that you want to go to. So this is a tricky one over here. <laughs> you can do it both ways, which I like. So. If you mess up on the left, just go on the right hand side and then get on. So I thought I'd try 4K30. It doesn't overheat as fast as 4K60. I was talking a whole bunch and I noticed that the LCD screen was dark. And that tells me, yep, it overheated. So I don't know if the first clip... Uh, good enough. Uh, Canon and Sony are pretty good at saving the files before shutting down. Nikon, uh, it's a hit and miss with them. <laughs> but they're, they're pretty good too. this uh, lane right here with the uh, manholes and stuff the road is usually bad I'm gonna go with it because it's a lot of traffic behind me and to the side I think the waste connections is basically uh, recycle the 
pelvic is the trash. They, they got different, uh, it's all under Bear, Bear County, all right, or Behar, I should say. B E X A R. Here's Oblate. I usually come down, turn left, and then I say, All right, folks, thanks for tagging along. I'll see you in part two. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling. I'll see you next time. Bye, folks.